What's up, guys? It's Eric. I'm in the studio with the new Arma Big Rock 6S BLX, Big Rock Crew Cab, RTR, 65 plus miles an hour. Really excited about this. This is like a new release of an old icon, the Arma Big Rock. Uh, this is 1 7 scale. Um, I haven't even opened this thing up yet, so we're going to get right to it. All right, let's see what we got in the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those awesome tires. I love these Big Rock tires. I'm going to have to clip the zip ties to get her out, but oh yeah look at that beautiful god i love that gun metal that kind of matte finish right there all right guys i'll get her out and we'll uh take a quick look at it all right got her out of the box the big rock crew cab 6s 17 scale first of all i want to give a big thanks to horizon and uh, arma for giving me the opportunity to run this truck guys if you want to pick one of these up please check out my affiliate link down below which i'll put a link in the description it'll really help support the channel and i really appreciate it this thing just looks absolutely amazing i love the scale look of this body i believe this is the first time for arma to do something like this uh, with a full-on scale body like this you even got the the rear view mirrors that fold in tuck away they actually do have the mirror part right there, which is really sweet. I mean, so many scale details on this thing, like actual headlights, a really nice looking grill right there. You even got windshield wipers up there, nice uh, skid plates or skids on the top roof right there. An actual truck bed back here with like a, a hookup for like a fifth scale camper. You got this nice truck bed protector right here, which even has nice texture to it, just like a real truck. Swing around to the back. You got these awesome tail lights back here. Hey yeah, guys, Armin just really killed it in the styling department of this truck. I mean, super amazing looking. Uh, you can uh, get three different colors. You can get red, white, or this gray, which is more of a matte gun metal, but it just looks really sweet, really digging it. It's even got 6S power on that little hood scoop right there. <laughs> That's a nice little detail. Really love these big rock tires right here. The Ragnaroks, they are pre-vented from the factory. And they're just about the exact same size as the good old backflip right here, which is the perfect bash tire for 1.8 scale, 1.7 scale platforms. As you can see, they're just about the exact same uh, diameter, which I'll put them side by side right here. They're about the exact same size. The Big Rock tire is just a little bit wider, but not much. But I just love the tread pattern and how these feel. These aren't too soft, you know, so they should be able to handle some big power without uh, over ballooning and blowing up on you. Here's a quick shot of the undercarriage. It is just your uh, standard 3 millimeter stamp chassis which it should hold up uh, pretty good unless you're doing extreme bashing. Of course, M2C Racing will have upgrades for this thing. I do believe the towers and the chassis braces are direct fit from the fire team. This truck does have a clipless body system in the front, which keeps nice clean lines up here. You have, don't have any body posts sticking up. So what you do is you just pick up on the back and slide it right off the front right there, <laughs> which will save a lot of time and energy taking your body on and off. Inside this body is super reinforced. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's super nice. Guys, you got a body this nice, you want it to last a long time. It's got a nice uh, cage in it. A nice uh, roof support right there which uh, sets right on your uh, center diff tower and here's the front clip right here it's really long it does slide into your front tower right there through that little hole but it's got some nice length to it so that way it shouldn't just pop out on a chassis flex and stuff like that so you can keep your body on your truck inside the truck here this is your standard rtr it does have plastic chassis braces but again if you want to bling yours up straight out of the gate check out m2c racing for some nice 7075 i really like this rear body mount system right here it's got these nice little paddings right here up against your body post this nice piece right here for cushion and also this block inside here that rests against the tower which is mounted to this piece so it should keep that from snapping the electronics you got the spectrum 2050 kv motor 4074 along with a v2 firma 150 amp esc and a spectrum s665 servo which looks like a really nice servo it does have the exb aluminum top plate up there for a little added durability guys check out this back bumper and this back bumper cushion right here this sucker is massive <laughs> <laughs> that should definitely uh, withstand some some rear end landings here's a shot of the front again it has a really nice absorber in here to really take them hard front impacts the suspension on this thing feels really nice it's super plush right out of the box i really love how that feels perfect for a seven scale platform guys there's loads of room inside this chassis bay for big electronics if you really want to hop this thing up it's got your standard pillow balls up front with rubber sealed bearings all throughout the truck which is a really nice touch from arma it does come with the instruction manual stickers and optional pinion right there to give you that uh, claim 65 plus miles an hour it give you some cool arma batteries in there and also some extra dip shims 
uh, some 13 by 16 if you want to shim up your ring and pinion to get a little bit tighter mesh. This truck does come with a 13 tooth pinion stock. Uh, and then again, it does have the 16 tooth speed pinion to get you that 65 miles an hour. I may run this truck at first with the stock 13 tooth just to let you guys see how this thing runs straight out of the box. And then I'll throw on the 16 tooth. Just a real quick shot of the box. Again, you can see the three colors. You got the gray, the red, and then the white. On this side of the box, you got your electronics in detail. You got your Spectrum SLT3 transmitter. You're a three channel receiver right there. Your Spectrum S665 waterproof servo. Uh, 20 kilograms at a 7.4 volts. And you got your V2 Firma ESC 4S 6S compatible. And then your 4074 2050 KV motor. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the ease of sliding on this body. It just goes right through the front tower and clips right down in the back. Put your body clips in there and, uh, and you're ready to send it. This is such a beautiful truck. Huge shout out to Arma for their constant innovation and just coming up with some really cool stuff. Again, this thing is the most scale truck I've ever seen Arma do. The body is just absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, let's get out and give her a first run. All right, guys, out to give her a nice maiden. Everything on the truck is bone stock, even the pinion. I may switch up to the 16 tooth on the second battery pack. I just want to give you guys a nice run with the stock pinion so you can see how it runs straight out of the box. I did go up to punch nine on the ESC, just to get a little more punch out of her. But this thing just looks so beautiful, especially out in the sun. Can't wait to give it a run. All right, guys, let's see what she'll do. Yeah, she is pretty fast, straight out of the box. <laughs> oh, this thing's handled so nice. Oh yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to take a second and do a little bit less editing. Just do a nice little uh, freestyle segment for a second so you guys can really see how she handles. I really love the tires don't balloon that much. They are kind of stiff, uh, but there's not much ballooning, which is really nice. This thing runs so smooth. power slide That's not what I wanted to do. All right, guys, I threw on the optional 16 tooth pinion just to try to get a little bit more speed out of her. She is pretty fast with the stock 13. As far as the diffs, I may end up tuning the center diff to probably 1 million with these stiffer tires right here to get some really nice uh, extra control. But anyway, let's see what she does. Oh, yeah, now we're cooking. <laughs> Big difference. durability test there she goes maybe not Woo! oh that's a big jump <laughs> dang that was nice she flies really good in balance all right guys i'm gonna take a second check the temps on that 16 tooth burning it pretty hard uh, I got about 127 on the motor, 130 up front there, and about 120, 126 on the ESC. That's not too bad. If you're going to run that optional pin, you at least give us some cool downs here and there.
Oh, the pinion came loose. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Well, I tell you what, that's going to be the first ultimate durability test. That's the only drawback to not being able to thread lock your pinion the night before. Oh, right on the roof. Oh, man. Looks like it popped the front of the body up. Wow. Well, yep, there's the pinion. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to get that on there a little bit tighter. Looks like the truck took it though. Got a little bit of bend in the back shock tower. The chassis still looks straight. Everything else looks good. Wow. That sucks. We'll get that fitted on and try it again. guys that's gonna be it for the maiden run this thing's a freaking animal <laughs> arma really did her homework i love these seven scale uh, platforms uh, big shout out to Armin Horizon once again for another awesome truck, some awesome innovation. This thing took a hammering out here, especially on that really bad roof landing, guys. That was a bad landing from a uh, pretty pretty high up in the air, and the truck took it, the body took it. It's got a couple little dings on it, but other than that, I mean, this thing held really nice. Even the mirrors uh, stayed on here, even though I did tuck them in just so they didn't get knocked off on any hard rolls or anything. The chassis on this thing, oh, it's got a lot of dirt in it. It's a relatively straight, uh, considering what it's taken in it being a stock three millimeter chassis. It does have a little bit of a bow in it, but it's easily fixed. And also MTC Racing will be making a nice chassis for this thing among uh, some other upgrades. I did end up bending that rear shock tower uh, again on that bad roof landing, but I was able to kind of straighten it back up so I could finish the run. But again, big uh, shout out to Arma. This is an awesome truck. Can't wait to get it out again. I'll probably do a little bit of tuning on it for the next run, a few little tweaks, and uh, we'll have some more fun. All right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81 peace out. Oh,